Actress and producer Amy, who plays Kimberly, the Pink Ranger from Mighty Morphin, is working on a comic book series with Boom Studios. This will be a four-episode series and will feature the Mighty Morphin team. Part of this story is that Tommy and Kimberly have a daughter, who is going to become the new Green Ranger. We know that some people are confused because they always mix up the actor with the character and Jason the actor has a daughter in real life, but in this comic only appears the daughter of the character. For now, there are only rumors that Amy spoke with Jason's real daughter to talk about this story, but within all that there is a war due to an alleged theft of the story and we will talk about this later in this video. What is known about these new comics is that it is going to be called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The Return and basically the story is set 22 years after this team managed to defeat Rita and Lord Zed, but this cost them a lot. After they defeated these villains, 22 years later, Jason the Red Ranger is a lone vigilante, but Zack and Billy have some important information to share, and they must try to find Jason. We don't know where the other members of the team enter the story, but for now that's the information they have given about the story of this comic. The cartoonist for this story has also shared several images and some artists have created their own versions of the Red Ranger. The fact that we can witness a woman with the powers of the Green Ranger is something quite intriguing and obviously we know that we have already seen other women being Green Rangers, but we are referring specifically to the Dragon Power. In real life there have been cosplayers who have created their own version of the Green Ranger in female version and we can realize that this is not such a crazy idea. It truly looks amazing, and it would have been spectacular to see this on TV. Obviously, it's something that is highly unlikely that we'll be able to see on television due to the reboot of the franchise, but if the reboot didn't exist, then we could have hoped that Jason's real-life daughter would have perhaps played this ranger in some special. Other details about this new saga are that there are some variant covers that are going to form a great image by putting them all together, although we don't know if these covers are going to be exclusive to those who have sponsored the creation of these comics. I say this because in order to finance all these comics they have created a fundraiser and the goal was only $50,000, but they have already managed to raise more than $400,000. There are still 16 days left for this fundraiser to end, so we suppose that it is very possible that they will reach half a million dollars and with all this money they will be able to create some special things for all those fans who have contributed to this fundraiser. By the way, this story is an alternate history, it has nothing to do with the main timeline, so basically it is like the other sagas we have talked about that are not part of the main story and only have some episodes. Unfortunately, even though this whole idea of a new comic book is spectacular, sometimes in real life things can get tricky and we are imperfect human beings. Since Jason's death, Bat in the Sun has always tried to defend the actor's image, but sometimes this has led to some pretty serious controversies. This time the controversy was because Bat in the Sun posted a message saying that they should give Jason credit for this story as he had previously talked about creating a story in which Tommy and Kimberly had a daughter who became the new Green Ranger. The story has more details which he then also wrote about in another post, but Amy responded to these messages and said that her story is not the same. The reality is that the Bat in the Sun people are only using the summary they have published of the story of the new comic as a reference to be able to make these allegations since this new comic has not yet been published and only the creators are the ones who know the whole story. Maybe the summary that they give us about the story of the new comic is very similar to the story that Jason wanted to create, but maybe when you see the complete story you will realize that maybe it is something quite different. We don't know who is telling the truth about this whole thing, but as fans it is very sad to see how they keep involving the name of a deceased person who can't defend himself. 
I think the bad in the sun people should concentrate on their projects, on the new movie they are going to release in 2024 and stop trying to defend Jason's name because in the end it only destroys his image more. It doesn't matter if companies or some people really stole Jason's ideas, the important thing is that he already left an incredible legacy, and we have to try to respect that legacy. In the movie world there are always things going on behind the curtains and the fans can only see what is on the screen. Sometimes it's better not to disclose everything that happens behind the scenes as that only creates controversy and sometimes even enlarges with lies from other people. About the comic book story and everything to do with Power Rangers, they should learn to separate the character from the actor. Jason always played Tommy, but he didn't own the character, and this is why companies can keep creating stories with Tommy Oliver. Perhaps it is a complicated issue for all producers as there are many legal terms involved in that controversy and many impressive secrets, but the reality is that the fans just deserve to continue living the magic of the story. Even though there has been a bit of a war between the Bat and the Sun people and Amy the Pink Ranger, I think they should leave this whole issue alone and dedicate themselves to continue creating great projects. By now many fans had always hoped that Tommy Oliver's son that he had with Cat, would be the one to become a ranger on TV, but even though this idea has been spectacular, I think that seeing a daughter use the power of the dragon is more interesting. Let's hope that the participation of this new Green Ranger will be as a main character or at least a very important character. We know that the Mighty Morphins are the central part of this whole story, but we are already having a main story with this team, and we need something different. The character of a Green Ranger, which is named Olivia Hart, can be something novel that starts a story that in the future can generate another alternative Power Ranger story. I can understand that because Amy is the one who is creating all this story, she might want to focus everything on her character Kimberly, the reality is that I would not like this as I prefer the main character to be the new Green Ranger or that all the members of the team have the same participation. This has worked very well in the comics of the main story since everyone has an important participation and although in each saga there is some ranger that can stand out more than the others, there is always room for all the members of the team. We know that sometimes the controversies are interesting for people and generate a lot of intrigue, but I ask you to concentrate on the positive things, on the good things that are coming, including the new comic and the new movie. Write in the comments if you would like to read this new comic, like this video and subscribe for more Power Ranger stories.